Welcome ladies and gents to Old Trafford ahead of today's FA Cup third round tie against Manchester United. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm here in the showers. Well, I'm waiting here ahead of today's team bonding exercise. Unfortunately for you fine ladies and gents though, I cannot show you that because this is YouTube and not one of those 18 plus sites. So instead we are going to hop into Football Manu 22. We are going to look at our brand new signing and my brand new contract. Right, ladies and gents, we are kicking our time off here in the notebook with my contract. Yes, my contract. That's the first thing we are going to look at. And, well, I was offered a two-year deal at 1600 per week. I believe our previous contract was either 1400 or 1500 I can't quite remember exactly what our prior contract was, but... I pushed them up even further. We remained with the two-year deal, but I got the wage up to 1,700 per week, which means I am now on 88,400 per year with a promotion bonus. Yes, a promotion bonus. I managed to get 25% rise on promotion bonus. So that will be an additional £425 per week if we do get ourselves promoted, making it £2,125 per week or... 110,500 per year but there is one other bit of news that I of course previously mentioned and that is our transfer in in fact we've got one in one out the one out is a young stays gone out on loan but the question is who are they well first of all the youngster out on loan is the one and only d on lawless he's gone to king's lynn till the end of the season gives him a bit of game time allows him to develop he is a developing youngster for our wing who might end up playing eventually because he does have plenty of potential whether he manages to reach that is yet to be seen but how has he been doing previously well he had two games away oh sorry with us at in the north 6.75 so he did decent for us he's now gone out on loan to kings lynn hopefully he can show what he can do out there and come back and possibly work his way into the team but speaking of our team york have confirmed the signing of cardiff's pressing forward chanka zimba for a fee of five thousand which is on the cheaper end of his valuation i believe he's valued at six thousand to actually i don't know what it is now he was in that sort of 616 range when we picked him up i did have to give them some future fee because they were originally asking for about 15 grand just straight out of pocket so he's going to get five percent of the sell on if we sell him on i believe cardiff is getting 30 percent and we are sorry cardiff's getting 30 percent of the profit he's getting five percent of the actual value and we are of course getting the rest but who on earth is Chanka Zimba? Well, Chanka Zimba, he actually came up through the Blackburn youth system. And, well, his three star, three and a half star potential, a 22 year old Zambian capped at under 23 level. Like it said, he's a pressing forward, normally a defensive pressing forward. That is not what we're going to use him for, though. We are, of course, going to use him probably as an advanced forward or a deep lying forward, in which case, on attack. His finishing, it's only an 8, it's not quite there, but his dribbling is 11, his first touch is 10, 8 passing. He is going to be great going forward. If you have a look at his physicals, he's got 14 acceleration, so he's going to be able to dart his way through their defence. What traits does he have, though? Knock the ball past opponents, not too shabby. He isn't great in goal, though, so he's not going to be a backup goalkeeper with that 2 rating, but... Is a nice little addition to our squad. As you can see, 10 grand to 50 is his brand new valuation currently in on at two grand a week and an important player because he is in fact knocking Campbell down to the bench. Yes, Campbell is now a bench player after all them goals down in non-league. He's only picked up eight this so far this season, which I believe is still a top goal scorer, but tied with Labala, I want to say, or Williams, one of the wingers. He's tied with one of them. Not really doing it. So, we brought in another striker. A little bit of competition. Zimba and Campbell are going to battle it out for that top spot. Probably Zimba is going to be my go-to for now. 
like I said, started off at Blackburn, went on a free transfer to Cardiff in 2021. He then went on loan to this division, only scoring three times in 25 games with two assists and one player of the match, but he did a solid job with a 6.76. And now, after another year at Cardiff, developing in their system, hopefully he's grown a little bit more, he's a better player, and hopefully he can get into double figures for us this season. I'm just hoping he can get five or six. Five or six, I'll settle for that. Alongside Campbell coming in if he's struggling, I think that'll be enough. But without further ado, let's head on back to Old Trafford. And so we find ourselves here in the dressing room ahead of today's game as we look to repeat the upset of the League Cup 95. But our team looking to do that well. Oluwayemi in goal, the back line of Osu, Shifley, Adiapan and Jenkinson. On the wings is Labala and Williams with Morgan and Allen in central midfield and Pedder sitting behind a newly acquired Zimba, a bench consisting of Alnwick, Carlin, Connolly, McLaughlin, Dyson, Norwood and Campbell. Now if you were virtualized to the left hand side, we are going for a very defensive approach here today. In possession we are also doing a few other things slightly different so this is usually in the middle we're going for slightly shorter we're going to try and make sure we work the ball into the box play that clock down a little bit play for set pieces we're going high tempo still but we're going to try and time waste where possible in terms of transition well we want the goalkeeper to slow things down again burn up some of that clock distribute it to our center backs and we're just going to try and hopefully pass it through which is easier said than done against premier league opposition but without further ado let's crack on with this one let's head out and let's have a little look at that team sheet and see who manchester united is playing with today Weighing in with 10 changes, Manchester United UFC, led by the Wally Ollie himself, Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. And, well, yeah, they are missing some quite big names here today. If you have a little look on that left-hand side, a few of them will stand out for you. The likes of Ronaldo, Pogba, Varane... They are missing some quite big names, but they do still have De Gea in goal and they still have Sancho and Van Der Beek attacking us in this one. So let's crack on with this. It's still going to be a difficult game, but thankfully we don't have to deal with some of those other names that I mentioned. So the media have given you a lot of credit lately, so go out there and put on a worthy display. You know what? We need a bit of motivation. First of all, punch fist. So what can we do? I know we're underdogs here. But go out there and give these fans... No. I expect nothing but a win. Definitely not. Manchester United have fought... No, you know what? The media have given you a lot of credit. Go out there. Put on a wavy display. Whatever happens, happens. Just go out there. Show that you're a decent side. And let's crack on with this one. Let's try and get an upset here today at Old Trafford. I don't see it happening, if I'm honest with you, fine ladies and gents. But... We can dream. We can dream. We can dream of a return to the League Cup of 95 with a 3 0 victory here at Old Trafford. I don't see it happening, like I said, but we can try. We can try. Alan pulls it back for Shipley. Shipley up to Morgan. Back to Shipley once more. Nice one, two between them. Oluwayem is just going to hoof it up and he finds Pedda. That was. Quite direct, considering what we went over in regards to our passing. Unfortunately, that was a poor pass, and Sancho is going to intercept it. So, it's with McTominay here in the centre circle. They are just trying to build up from the back. Plenty of youngsters, of course, here today for Manchester United. Hannibal being one of them, of course, as well as their centre-back partnership. So, it's McTominay. He's going to play a ball over to this left-hand side. He finds Fernandes. Fernandes whips it in to Sancho. Oh! Come on, all the way. I mean, I know it's Sancho. I know it's Sancho. He still probably would have scored it anyway. But it was straight down the middle of the goal, my friend. you got to save those ones. If you're not saving them straight at you, you've got absolutely no chance when he starts hitting some good shots. Look at this. Sancho, way too much space. All the way, I mean, just stands there and watch it go by him. It's already off to a rough start, ladies and gents. Less than five minutes in, and we are a goal down. So Morgan plays it across to Joe Allen. He finds Pedder. Pedder pulls it back for Joe Allen. And you know what? To be honest, I should have probably let some of the youngsters have a run out here today. We're going to lose it anyway. We're mainly here just for those nice, juicy gate receipts. 
which is going to boost our bank balance quite a bit. I think I should probably just let the youngsters have a run out because in two days time, maybe three days time, is that postponed game against Stevenage, which of course is going to be a very big game. And now Jenkinson has gone and fouled Sancho. Things are only going to get worse as they've got themselves a penalty. If it's going to go to it, VAR, I'm, I will give them it. I think it is. No penalty? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. It looked like he bundled him down, but apparently not. So, it's Manchester United back in possession once more. Ahmad, ball over the top. Sancho nods it back for McTominay. McTominay, lovely ball over the top to Ahmad. Ahmad, where's he going to go with this one? He pulls it back. Van der Beek, Van der Beek. Oh, it's blocked. It's gone back to Ahmad, though. Ahmad, back to Hannibal. Hannibal, shot is blocked. And whew, kept it to one goal. That's the real. That is the real task. How many goals can we keep this one down to? I reckon if we can keep this under four, keep it free. If we keep it to three goals, I will be okay with that. I can be at peace. I won't be too upset with a 3 0 loss. If it starts getting to five, six, seven, eight, then one, I'll be reverting back to the 90s and singing songs, and I'll also be rather upset with the team for letting it get that bad. But Alan. He's going to try and build from the back ball over the top. He's found Jenkinson. He will just win this race down the right-hand side. But can he do anything with it? He pulls it back for Williams. Williams was way deeper than Jenkinson, which is a little weird, considering he is the winger, of course. Whips it in, though. Finds Labala. Sadly, though, soft header straight at the head here. And he is just going to collect it. But we've got ourselves a second highlight here, ladies and gents. As Osu is coming down left-hand side, unfortunately, though. And the beat just gets the ball. And it's Manchester United again trying to build from the back. So it's a ball over the top. He finds a lot. A lot on this right hand side. Can he get a good cross in? He has support behind him if he wishes to use it. Instead, though, he's going to whip it in. Scott McTominay. Whew. Scotty, Scotty. Doncaster, by the way, won it up against Carlisle for those interested in, I believe, that was the league. Because there weren't very many games there. So that's a league fixture. Hannibal, of course, going to play a ball over the top to Sancho here on the left-hand side. And I am going to change that other screen up in just a second. Try to get back to McTominay. It's intercepted. Jenkinson clears it away. But we need to stop just hoofing it away, lads. Play it out. That is why I put you on short passing. I didn't want you hoofing it away to them. I said, though, it seems like they've ignored that part of the tactic. And right now it's coming back to bite us in the backside as Sancho is going to deliver a corner here on the 20th minute near post. Tommy straight at Oluwayemi, who's currently on a 6.6 .6 right now. So we're going to pause it. We're going to get rid of this match stat page and we shall go to the Manchester United. Sorry, the Man UFC, the ultimate fighting club. Who is going for a 4 2 3 1 and showing us exactly how you're supposed to play this formation? Playing it slightly better, of course, than ourselves here today. So I'm going to grab my drink and we can have a nice little sip as Sancho looks to take this free kick. And in fact, he does. Straight into the back of the net. Ninth goal of the season for Jaden Sancho. Indeed, he has scored again. Let's just stop him from getting his hat trick in the first half. He's got his brace. Don't let him get the hat trick. That's all I ask. Pedido, sends circle, turns, passes it to Morgan. He's going to play it up to Zimba. Zimba's going to pull it back. Yes, he does. Back to Morgan. Now where's Morgan going with this? Back to Shipley. In fact, you know what? Let's just take this off very defensive. We'll go attacking. We may as well. We're 2-0 down. Let's go attacking. Let's just try and fight our way back into this. By some miracle, let's see if we can try and get something out of this. McTominay, he's going to play it over to the left-hand side. Gets it to Fernandez. He finds Jadon Sancho. Jadon Sancho has plenty of space. Can he get past Jenkinson? He should probably get past Jenkinson. He is quite a bit fitter. Now, whips it across. Amant is going to collect. Plays it across to McTominay. Ball through to Sancho. Was he onside? Flag? Flag? Yes, yes. This loud? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Need the little telly man to save us yet again. 
It was a narrow one. That was a very narrow one, but we will take it. Come on. Barrow 1-0 up against Oldham, by the way. Accrington, I believe, was 1-1 at home to Grimsby as well. That's not too bad for Grimsby. Grimsby, of course, in that relegation zone, clawing their way, trying to grab a few points and get out of that mess. But right now it's Hannibal. He's going to play through to Ahmed. Lovely block there, though. As we try to just remain 2-0 there. Just 2. So... Jenkinson to Mark Sancho is probably a good idea. Probably a good idea, except he's a little slow. I don't think we've got anyone with enough pace to stick with Sancho. So trying to man-mark him like that is going to go badly. I'm going to run past whoever we're man-marking him with, and it's going to get messy. As you can see, 0 XG, which is weird because we had one shot on target. And apparently there's absolutely no chance of that ending up in the back of the net. So, interesting approach to XG, but the media has given you a lot of credit lately, so go out there and put on the worthy display. We tried that one. You know what? This is as good as over. That was a pathetic first half. And you know what? It was. That was a pathetic first half. And the lads know it was. So... That has worked. So where shall we go with this one? We have a couple of six ones. You know what? Our team is struggling far too much. Especially on this right hand side. We are getting battered on this right hand side right now. So um, I'm tempted to go three strikers. I don't think we're going to be able to get the ball up there if we do that though. So we'll just do the one substitute. Hopefully Carlin can stick with Jen uh, stick with Jenkinson, no, stick with Jaden Sancho a little bit better in this second half than Jenkinson did. Now Labala, he gets dispossessed by Delot. Just wasteful in possession, lads. Just wasteful. I can understand them beating us, but not in this fashion. We can't be performing like this. We need to at least have some pride in the way we play. Delot. Coming down this right-hand side. Pulls it back for Hannibal. What's he going to do? He's going all the way back to the halfway line. And, well, it's going to be played across the halfway line as it's now up to McTominay. McTominay turns and passes it to Jaden Sancho. Ball through to Fernandez. Fernandez coming down this left-hand side. Pulls it back for Sancho. Sancho with a bit of space. He could have scored a third one there. He could have got his hat-trick there. Thankfully, he did not. And we've committed 20 fouls. 20. 20 fouls, lads. And that save, so close to just trickling in. Shipley, admittedly, got himself up to a 7, though. But McTominay has just gone and got himself on the score sheet. Second goal of the season. And Scott McTominay has just made it. 3-0 to Manchester United here on the 52nd. I'm assuming it's going to round out to, yes, minute. <sighs> so painful. At least, at least the relegation zone is starting to close itself up a little bit. Bradford is still struggling down there, which will help us avoid relegation just that little bit more. I think... At this stage of the season, we can say we're probably not getting relegated, but mathematically, we still can. I believe we need about 48, 49 points. I had a little look over the last few seasons. I think 49 basically guarantees us survival, but anything below puts us questionable. Now, Jaden Williams is on a 5-8. Absolute terrible here today. Dyson can come on for him. Who else can we bring on? Zimba's having a rough one as well. So you know what? Zimba, I'm going to rest you up. You can go off, stick feet up. That was not the greatest of debuts. Admittedly, I did literally throw you in at the deep end. Maybe not the brightest idea on my part, but live and learn. Ladies and gents, live and learn. As Jaden Sancho whips one in Fernandez near post blocked, and it's a counter attack here by Allen, but instead he's just gonna hoof it upfield. Lads. Aye, aye, aye. Also, I believe 
I believe, because we're on this one. Yeah, we are still technically time wasting, which isn't a good idea, considering we're three nil down. Admittedly, we're probably not going to pull this one back, but at least if we're going to try and give it a go, time wasting probably isn't the plan. De Gea, he's going to play it short now. It's up. They are pulling on more youngsters here to gain a little bit of experience against us. Now Roberto over to Shortire. Shortire gets it up to Sancho. Sancho nods it down for Greenwood. He's dispossessed by Morgan. He goes over to Sancho here on the left-hand side. Where is Sancho going to go with this one, though? He's just going to hold it on the left-hand side. Whips it in. Greenwood at the near post. Ay, ay, ay. We... Maybe not the best choice of words. I was going to say we are getting battered. But considering the goal scorer, probably, probably not the best bit of phrasing. So, yeah. We're getting dismantled in this one. As Mason Greenwood has just come up at the near post. As you can see, their back line is having a pretty solid job. And Sancho is going to whip one in here. We're up to four. Just keep them out. Don't let them get a fifth. I know we've gone very attacking to try and pull a goal back just to make ourselves feel better, but don't concede a fifth. Please do not concede a fifth. Our morale is in the gutter right now, and that is not what we want before we head to Stevenage. Thankfully, thankfully, it goes sailing wide of the goal. Now, the real question is, where are we going after this one? Because I haven't... Ah, yes. Completely forgot. Thankfully, I note these things down just so I remember. And well, Pedder on the counter attack. Can he get anything going? He's got support on the left hand side, and I believe that's Campbell in front of him. He's being closed down and pushed over to this byline. I think that was more him choosing to go over to it. And then he just passes it to De Gea. What was that? Whipping across, my friend. Please. Please, just whipping across. Oh disappointing performance here today ladies and gents but Lubala he'll whip one in from the corner back post Campbell can he get one no Fernandez nods it away and Sancho probably gonna go on the counter attack here on the 88th minute holds it on the byline plays inside to Adiemi he gets it over to Roberto Roberto up to Van der Beek Van der Beek's gonna hold possession dispossessed Morgan gets it up to Campbell he's got support with him can he do anything with it though no he's just gonna run out wide again played over to Pedder and Pedder high wide and not at all handsome ay 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 we've been poor on all ends of this pitch Stevenage by the way drawing 2-2 in their league game but Roberto plays it back it's back to Roberto once more and Manchester United are probably just going to hold possession for these last three minutes or maybe maybe just try and embarrass us a little bit more as Roberto plays it Sancho, Sancho he gets it to Adeyemi Adeyemi turns passes it Van der Beek it's blocked but Sancho will hold it in play he could have just let it go out and made us feel a little bit better but no he had to put in that effort to try and keep it in so final minutes of additional time will we lose this one four nil four one or five nil let's find out as sancho comes down this left hand side he's going to pull it back gets it to fernandez fernandez now he's going to turn pulls it back yet again to the halfway line manu you're going the wrong way roberto though over to short tire short tire just gonna kick it out of play. I appreciate that, short tire. Little bit of sportsman conduct. Feeling sorry for us. Just thought, you know what? Have a four nil loss. Four nil's not too bad. You can go home with your head kind of high. We played shocking. Four nil is not a good result. But considering the way we played, I'll take it. I'll take it over a five or a six. I'm still going to go yell at the lads in my own time. And we are going to verse Newport County in the next episode. But I thank you for sitting through this rather disappointing FA Cup third round game with us. I hope you all have a lovely night. And hopefully by the time we get to that next episode, I've also found us a right back. Because Zimba was my solution for our striker issue. 
I still think we need a right back. But again, I thank you all for joining us. Enough rambling from me. Hope you all have a lovely night and goodbye.